Good morning, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Now it is 20 past midnight and I've just been told by one of my friends that our university marks have just gone live so that I can access it and find out what I'm going to be graduating with. I'm both incredibly excited and incredibly nervous to find out what my marks are. This is something that I've been working for three years to achieve and when I began uni I can remember thinking I know what I want to graduate with. I want to get what's called a first class honours degree. The top one basically. I had always massively underachieved when I was at school and I wanted to make up for that now that I'm at university and actually do as well as I possibly could and get the best result that I possibly could. So I hope that that's what I'm going to get but you can never be certain until it's there in front of you confirmed and the other thing with uni is that after you get your final marks back there's like a two week to like one month period where you don't have your final result and during that period any of your marks can change so they get moderated and they can be resent back to be remarked by external people so nothing is concrete until you get that final result back so f it let's find out what i got for university just got to log into my uni account oh my password was incorrect for fuck's sake okay so i'm in my results f if i click on that like my heart is genuinely racing like i didn't think that i'd get this this anxious about it go to the my results page yeah i got first oh christ Three fucking years. Three years of uni. Yeah, I got first. <laughs> I can't really talk now properly. It doesn't help that it's like 29 degrees or something and it's midnight because we're going through a massive heat wave in the UK at the moment. So just like putting these soft boxes on is killing me. But I did it. I got first class honours degree. I fucking achieved something. The thing is, is I never wanted this for academic prowess, you know, I didn't want to get a first because I thought it would further my career opportunities. I mean, I studied music technology for fuck's sake, there are basically zero career prospects. I've just wanted to prove to myself and more importantly, my parents for the last like five years that I can do well at something because when I was younger and I was at school, like I've never been stupid. I, I don't mean to sound arrogant at all, but I've always been quite bright academically anyway and I underachieved so much at school I was you know, I got really good GCSE results and then my A-levels just went downhill because I was just a, I was just a teenager I was just being stupid like I went through like rebellious phases and disappointed my parents so much with my A-level results and had like issues like stuff to do with like drugs and bad part of my life for both me and my parents as well and the main reason that I've always wanted to get a first, I guess, is to make my parents proud. That's literally the driving force for me, wanting to get a first, is to make my parents proud of me, because I went to a private school as well, so they spent a lot of money sending me there for me to just get shit results, and then I left and I went to college, because I was like, I want to do music tech, so I went to college and I, I did well. But I got that and that enabled me to go to uni, and I can remember saying to my parents, like, after I finished college, like, now I've just got to go get first. I said it as a joke at the time, but this was, like, a serious thing for me. Like, I really desperately wanted to do that, so that I can, like, tell my parents that I've done well, I haven't, like, fucked up again. I fucked up a lot, and this is, um... I don't know, validation, I guess. I'm not going to call them though, because I'm, I'm going to London in a few days uh, for my sister's dinner party, and it's like a big family event, so I'll, get, I'll tell them in person then, that'll be nice. I got a first. I'm going to get so drunk tomorrow night, it's going to be amazing. I'm so f***ing happy. Like, not just three years of work, but like three years of hard work. So this is the thing, is that in my third year of uni, I wasn't just doing the uni work. I was doing uni work, I was trying to make a weekly video on YouTube, which takes a lot more time than people think it does. And I was also doing like singing in the BBC National Chorus of Wales. And I've got part-time jobs that I work between like 14 and 22 hours a week usually. So I, I've just been so busy and it's, but I've still managed to to do it. I've managed to keep it going and keep it together and achieve this thing. Work hard. If you want to get something done, try just work as hard as you can because I think this is proof to me that it actually it works and pays off. In the words of uh, Dr. Kelso, if you watch Scrubs, which you should because it's great, nothing in life worth having comes easy and it's time
totally true. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm sorry this has been such a boring and self-indulgent video. I mean, I've just been ranting about my own shit, so sorry about that. Also, I'm really stressed and busy at the moment because I'm working a lot and I'm in the process of moving house and moving down to Cardiff Bay in like a week. So I'm trying to like organize everything around that. I'll do like a flat tour video or something maybe when I'm when I'm in the new place. And next week is music month, so I'll be back to talking about music that I like. So that'll be interesting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really good day. And thank you to those of you who have shown me support with uni. Like I get messages occasionally from people wishing me luck with uni and, I, and hoping that I'm, I'm doing well and everything. And it just means so much. I'm just some random guy on the internet that you don't know at all. And the fact that you reach out and say things like that is it's amazing. So thank you so, so much for all of the support that you give me, not just in that, but in general as well. Like it's amazing. Over 3000 subscribers now. God bless you all. I'm gonna go, I need to have a cigarette. And I need to go to fucking sleep because I've got like a 10 hour shift tomorrow. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. I know that I will. And I'll see you very soon.